Hello and welcome to a tutorial on digital electronics and uh, today today I was just thinking uh, why not discuss about the magnitude comparators okay so today we have from our content of discussion we should discuss the magnitude comparators okay so I think as you all have already understood from the meaning of the name that it compares magnitudes now whose magnitude does it compare okay so before going on to that detail, let me just to say that this circuit, you know, basically comes under the category of combinational logic circuits in digital electronics. And this circuit, what it does is, now I'm coming back to the detail again, it just compares the magnitudes of binary numbers. So what it does is that it just compares binary numbers magnitudes okay so that's what the circuit basically does and now if we just you know um, if we just you know just imagine that uh, there are two binary numbers okay let's say we call them as a which consists of two bits okay that is let's say a1 and a0 okay and let's say we have another binary number known as b it also has two bits which is b1 and b0 okay so in this case um, we have just taken two numbers a and b with two binary bits so here as we can see b1 and uh, sorry here b1 and a1 both represent the msbs of the num i mean the two binary numbers and a0 and b0 are the lsbs respectively of the binary same binary numbers so therefore if we just assume our circuit to be i mean if we just assume uh, this rectangular box that i'm drawing over here as the circuit of a magnitude comparator okay let us here just take the example of a two bit magnitude comparator okay and this is basically the block diagram that i'm showing you okay okay so this is basically the two bit magnitude comparator block diagram okay so what this circuit will do is that this circuit can handle or rather accept the inputs of certain binary numbers not more than two bits so it can handle a maximum of you know two bit I mean two bits of each binary number okay so we need to you know supply two binary numbers in order to compare the magnitudes so each number must not exceed uh, two bits okay so that's why we've taken here a and b both having two bits only okay as you all can see so basically in the the circuit of a two bit magnitude comparator what it basically does is that it just compares the two numbers that is a and b bitwise okay so we have at the input two terminals for a okay so these are a1 and a0 okay being input at these two terminals and we have other two terminals for the other input that's b okay so we have or rather we name them as b1 and b0 since these are the inputs to these terminals okay at the output it's got three terminals okay so basically one i mean let's say this we just call this as terminal one which represents the condition where a is less than b then we have the terminal two which represents the condition where a is equals to b and finally terminal three which represents the condition where a is greater than b okay so if we just you know consider an example in this case by means of a truth table okay let me just uh, you know write down the heads first a1 and a0 okay b1 and b0 and here let's say we have let's say a less than b a equal to b and a greater than b respectively okay so in this case uh, let's just you know consider an example where the value of a is 0 0 and that of b is 0 1 so in this case we see that b is obviously greater than a where the you know the msbs of although the msbs of a1 and b were i mean that of a and b that is a1 and b1 are you know equal to each other but these two numbers you know vary in their lsbs so as i said that the circuit compares the two numbers bitwise so it will compare each bit of the number with 
the same bit of the other number that is it will compare the bit b1 to the bit a1 of the number a okay so therefore uh, as uh, and also this number i mean the circuit would also compare the bit b0 of the number b with a0 of the number a so basically it compares the two numbers bitwise and checks whether each of the bits are equal or not okay so if they're equal we'll have our condition i mean the condition two that's a equal to b okay going to logic one state else it will be either of the you know terminals one or three having a logic one output depending upon their magnitudes of the numbers concerned in each situation okay so in this case let's just you know consider this example where a i mean the number a has uh, you know uh, looks like zero zero okay and uh, the number b is a zero one so in this case we see that the number b is greater than that of number a so we have the condition one dominating in this case okay all uh, right we have the condition one satisfied so that here's a is less than b okay so we'll have a logic one output right at terminal one so here i write down logic one and the rest of the terminals has logic zero output okay now let's say another in another situation okay that looks somewhat like this let's say one zero at a one and a zero and at b we have let's say uh, zero one just the reverse okay here we can see that b is less than that of a since b is zero one and a is one zero okay so here b is less than that of a so in this case since a is greater than b we would have the condition i mean the you know output at terminal three you know going to the logic one state so we would have uh, you know a logic one output at terminal three so i just write down one right here and the rest of the other two terminals would be at logic zero state as usual okay so now for in the third case okay let's just take another example okay uh, in order to sum it up let's say both the numbers are you know zero one and zero one okay so in this example we see that here both the i mean both the msbs as well as the lsbs are equal to each other in case of both a and b so we see that a1 is equals to b okay in magnitude as well as a0 is equals to b0 in terms of their magnitudes okay so therefore we'll have the condition a equal to b you know satisfied right here that is at terminal 2 we will have a logic 1 output so basically i write logic 1 right here now the rest of the terminals will be at logic 0 state so basically this is the i mean the you know basic uh, way in which this circuit functions okay so depending upon i mean uh, there could be you know other various types of combinations of uh, I mean, various types of combination uh, that the numbers a and b could basically have so if you just you know uh, go forward and work them out you know writing down all the combinations then you would obtain uh, i mean then uh, for each of the case you would obtain you know uh, the series of certain outputs whose pattern gives a certain mathematical relationship in each case that just i'm going to show you here so for the case where a is you know equal to b for that case we have the mathematical condition of a1 sorry x nor b1 multiplied by a0 x nor b0 okay so this is basically the you know expression or rather the boolean expression for the case where you know um where a is equals to b for all the cases where a is equals to b in terms of their magnitude this condition is satisfied okay all right for some other condition where you know i mean for the next condition where let's say a is less than b in that condition we have the expression that looks somewhat like this a1 bar b1 plus a1 x nor b1 multiplied by as you can see here a0 bar b0 so this is the expression for the case where a is less than b and for the third condition where a should be you know greater than b in this condition we would have the expression that would look somewhat like this 
a1 b1 bar okay plus a1 x nor b1 and a0 b0 bar okay so we have these three different conditions for each i mean these three different expressions for each of the different conditions in case of the uh, two bit magnitude comparator you know other higher forms of uh, you know magnitude comparators are also possible okay like uh, we could have for example the four bit magnitude comparator we could also have 8-bit magnitude comparator and 16-bit magnitude comparator and so on the list never ends and the all types of magnitude comparators you know they just increase in size you know being capable to handle you know more number of inputs uh, as the size of the binary inputs uh, are supposed to be in each case the magnitude comparators are you know classified based on that so here in this case I mean in our example we had a magnitude comparator that could I mean just handle you know uh, two binary numbers that would consist of two bits each so hence its name is a two bit magnitude comparator so in the cases where we will have a four bit or eight bit or 16 bit magnitude comparator then we should just understand from this fact that in these cases the magnitude comparators can handle two binary numbers which are you know in case of the four bit system it will be I mean the two binary numbers may consist of just four bits each for the 8-bit case, it will consist of 8 bits each and uh, for the 16-bit magnitude comparators, the two numbers that are being compared in the circuit will be of 16 bits each and so on depending upon the complexity of the design and you know the number of inputs that we just increase in order to make the circuit you know even more versatile and more powerful okay so that was just a you know additional information as to how many types of you know uh, such circuits can be constructed so by this time i think you'll have already been wondering about what the internal or cern i mean the um what the logic diagram or a logic circuit diagram of this two-bit magnitude comparator might look like so without any further delay i'll just show you the diagram okay that's here we got it okay so in this very diagram if you just watch closely then you would see that um, as written over here this is the two-bit magnitude compared to logic diagram so this circuit that y'all can see over here this logic circuit represents the circuit of a you know two-bit magnitude comparator okay so here you'll will see that these are the basic inputs that have been provided over here and these inputs as also you can see uh, connect I mean that, that are mentioned over here has just been done in terms of you know a reduction of complexity is concerned it has just been done in order to reduce the you know circuit complication so that the diagram is much more clearer I mean clearer and you know easily visible to you so that's why we, in order to just prevent the diagram getting dirty I just did this okay so over here we can see that we have uh, you know uh, two bits of input lines for each of the numbers okay as you can see over here and we have at the outputs also the, the three terminals that is in the first case where a is greater than b then a is equal to b and a is less than b and here as you can see is the truth table where in this case if we just take the various cases we'll get the output combinations okay so here if we just take the first example uh, right here where a and b both the numbers are zero zero that is a1 and b1 bits are zero as well as uh, a0 and b0 bits are also zero so in this case a and b are equal to each other so we have a logic one output in case of uh, the condition that is y2 denoted by y2 here where a is equal to b so we have logic one condition i mean output over here and the rest of the output uh, in terminals remain at logic zero so we can see other cases where a is equals to b and we have a logic one output that is right here okay encircled uh, in the second uh, i mean in the most probably in the fifth row and there again we have another condition where uh, a is equals to b as you all can see so there could be various combinations of you know numbers i mean the two numbers based upon their you know magnitudes and their bit arrangements so in under various cases we'll have you know for all the combinations where a and b numbers are uh, same to each other i mean equal to each other we would have 
the logic one output at a equal to b so for the other two cases also where a is less than b and a is greater than b every combination where this happens would just trigger a logic one output at the respective terminals so that is what we all had to say for the operation of the two-bit magnitude comparator as far as it's concerned so this is just you know um, in order to just sum up i would just say that this is all that we had to say in case of uh, the operation of the circuit so kindly don't forget to watch our tutorial i mean next tutorial on digital electronics and till then uh, just let's reflect upon the working principle of the magnitude comparator and it's thank you and goodbye